Kanun with Pulse Secure Technical Marketing and this is another quick access series video and today we're going to talk about always on VPN. So the first question we're going to answer uh, regarding always on VPN is why? Why do companies um, need this? Why are they asking for this? Simply they want to always have the traffic uh, routed over the corporate network. And why would they want to do this? There's a lot of times where uh, companies are implementing uh, acceptable use policies, they're doing web filtering, URL filtering, um, then, so they want to make sure that the traffic is going through corporate. When somebody is on-prem, this is always the case, they can just route it out. When they're off-prem, uh, they can achieve this by doing an always-on VPN. All right, so that's why they would do this. Uh, how would they actually do this? So there's a few ways we can do this with the Pulse uh, Secure um, Desktop Client. Uh, basically, there's something called uh, Smart Connection Management, which is location aware, uh, which means when you're off-prem, we make the VPN connection. So if uh, this is my uh, perimeter and I'm outside, I'm connecting um, from somewhere outside and I'm trying to access something that's over here. Uh, without having always on VPN, the traffic goes directly there. Um, with the always on VPN, when I'm inside here, of course the traffic will get routed out and it will get there when the device is inside, we'll make it actually connect so that the traffic can go there. And again, this is if you have some web filter that's here or maybe you have some um, cloud proxy that you still want to redirect from your local traffic uh, to go out. So what we have is smart connection management with location awareness. The other thing we can do is we can put the device in lockdown mode, which means um, the connection happens automatically. So the end user doesn't have to do anything and we can do this with certificates for authentication. We can also do this uh, with just manual uh, entering of credentials or RSA tokens things like that. So when, when the user is off of the prem and the VPN is trying to come up, we'll make sure that they can't, uh, disconnect, the, they can't disconnect VPN. If they try to do that, we'll reconnect it. Um, whenever the device um, sleeps, comes back up, the connection will happen again. Um, and, and as part of the lockdown mode, what we can do is we also do things like um, captive portal detection in case they're somewhere where there's a captive portal we want to make sure that they can get past the captive portal so that that tunnel comes back up. Now, can you override this? Um, we tried to harden the client so that that's not possible. The only way that's really going to be possible is if you uninstall the, the VPN client, which means you can't really access corporate data anyway anymore when you're off-prem. So most people will not want to do this. Can I go and click the disconnect button? No, we've locked it down so that that's not possible. Um, can I uh, try to bring up another tunnel? No. Once it's locked down, we can actually um, prevent all those things from happening. Uh, is it possible to allow the uh, end customer to override this? So let's say an always uh, on VPN tunnel, like a light version of that. That's possible, but for uh, most of the organizations that we're talking to that come to us and they say we want a true always on VPN, um, you can dis disable the, the ability to override this so that it's truly always on and traffic will never leave the device unless it's going over the tunnel back to corporate. Right? So this is just one of those things um, that we always get the ask for and uh, is available using um, Pulse Connect Secure and the uh, Pulse Secure client. Thank you very much. For more information, please visit www.pulsesecure.net. Thank you.